What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at Grayson Waller, the Grayson Waller effect. One, I don't even like him in WWE. Two, not 100% how good he's going to be. This is literally the first time I'm looking at him. I wanted to wait till we were recording to look at him. I want to see what level of disappointment he's going to be at. So his finisher right out the gate already disconcerting because it's 165,000 damage. Okay. Choose a 3 by 7 area to swap into Black Gems. Then deal 165,000 damage and choose a 3 by 7 area to swap into Green Gems. Well, that's neat. Two different effects, a whole lot of gem damage. So uh, that's saying to me that he needs to be uh, furied up pretty hard. Make 38 random gems into green gems for 6 MP. That's pretty sick. Choose 7 gems to make into yellow. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we're looking at this already. And the STO is pyro. So which will modify all gems above and to multiply gem strengths to 3 when broken by you. 6 MP charge, not bad. You can throw on Matt Hardy. I wish that was a 5. That would be a lot better. 3 is subpar. Um, you're giving me Showboat Seamus vibes. And then jumping sidekick, deal 156,000 damage and choose 7 gems to make into yellow gems, obviously to break the 3 by one area of Pyro. And then make 38 random gems into green gems. So basically leaving out 11 Gems total on the board. Not bad. Not bad. Fireman's carry. We already talked about that. Discus clothesline. Deal 177,000 damage and increase your yellow MP by 10. Six charge to get you to the finisher. Not bad. Submission. Generate 30 random gems. They're doing 213,000 damage. Okay, I'm seeing potential there. Again, really wish that the gem damage or multiplied gems were five. So that's a possibility. Make 30 multiplied gems into black gems off the diving elbow drop. The pin bar will not move. So that's interesting. I wonder how I wonder how you interlace all of that. I'm wondering if you go here, here, and then here, and then here, here again. That's that's a possibility. So we'll run that. It looks like we've got one, two, three, three different builds, possibly. Um Running clothesline, deal a three by one area into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase the strength of your multiply by one on every countdown and increase your yellow MP by four at the end of the countdown. So that's interesting. So it looks like there's four builds. All right, so we're going to give this one a shot first and foremost. This one's screaming out to me a little bit. Um, I don't know why I went to the previous, but it is what it is. So we'll go there. Obviously, we're going to go Matt Hardy because everything is so damn low. Senior to Mac. And then we'll go gem damage being <sighs> green gems here for Luger. Let's go with Memrock. Let's just add a little bit of pizzazz to this cake. All right, take them off the Cody. For all of you that showed me love off the Cody video, I truly appreciate all of you. I just want you to know this. All right, so Grayson Waller, no belt, didn't have one set up for this time. And every single uh, belt part that I'm getting is allocated somewhere else. So I'm not going to waste what little I already have. Throw into a three by one area. Let's start off here. So this is going to be yellow gems. So we're getting Hall of Fame Triple H vibes here. That goes there. So we have sixes here. Let's see what this explosion does. An explosion of flavor. Treat me right, treat me right. Uh, didn't treat me right, and I did not full on appreciate any of that. I'm not blown away by what damage I'm seeing here. I wish I was. I wish there was a part of me that was super excited about this, but I'm just not seeing anything of real value. Um, heavy machinations wouldn't even need to be on this because it's low. Ah, uh, that was a fuck up. Didn't see that there. Oh, well. Doing the stunner. 
Yeah. I'm just not I'm just not as excited about this as I should be. This does not feel good. I mean, it would feel a lot better if the multiply gems were 5. If the pyro gems were at least the bottom row here, that would feel better than what it does. Um, I've got some mild critiquing, I guess you want to call it. If this was at least five, that would be a lot better. Um, one thing I am thinking of is instead of Memrock, maybe we switch out for Ray doing more green gems, possibly. I really wish I had Striker Cody, but I'm okay with tech. Because this is just taking a little bit longer than what I would uh, would really care for, if we're being honest. So maybe I wonder. So with the belt on there, we're looking at about one hundred and thirty percent, roughly. If you go with builds like what I do with all fury and the percentage increase, so we're probably looking at about four or five, four or five mil, roughly off of this. This is just the initial thought process to gather what these moves do. But what I'm thinking is instead of 38, making it like 41, possibly. Maybe that'll make a few, um, a little bit of a difference. Memrock's doing well with the time, or making it times six. But maybe times five is where we sit with it. Um, three gems means that Piper Plate won't trigger, so that's not even worth it. Hmm. All right. Well, since we're going up against KO, I just want to make sure we're going in prepared. That's all. MP reduction across the board uh, for the props. Getting those Shangos in there. Let's switch out Memrock for Ray. Yeah, get three more gems. Make that 41. I still want to keep Matt on there. Just because, again, strength of three. If it was five, I would want a generator on there instead of Matt. But let's give this a shot, see what comes of it. Another thing that to consider as well to come feuds, um, having Big Papa Pump giving 40% increase. This is if you get him and you take him six star silver. Um, having Big Papa Pump as the 40% increase could help a little bit again that three spot is going to be it's going to be rough uh needless to say it's going to be super super rough let's see if the 41 makes a difference maybe adding that extra 36k will help give us a little bit more that filled up the board yeah it only did 2.5 so i'm not super impressed by this um i wish i had a better perspective on this but this is just my perspective this build is not strong in the slightest again with a belt fury 2 setup could equal out to you know maybe five mil six mil max of a hit you could potentially get to 10 i'm trying to figure out whether or not because you can't hit this fill up the board and then hit it again. I was trying to figure out maybe there was two ways we can do this. It's a six drop. So, I mean, if you want to play fast and loose, what you could know, you still have to line break. You'd have to find some way to break those. So, I mean, you could do a three spot, potentially. Um, three turns of this going off. We didn't even need the Shangos. So, that's something. I want to put this in the C or as a C tier setup, to be honest. Um, again, Fury 2 belt, maybe 100% uh, move da or gym damage. Belt on him could do something, but I'm not super excited about it. So let's switch over to our submission build. Let's see if maybe the submission pans out a little bit better. So we're going to go discus clothesline into the seated rear ch or rear chin lock into the diving elbow drop. We're going to increase, do the board, make all the black gems, re recycle. So 
essentially here I want to go move damage. Let's increase the uh, submission and the multiplies at the same time. So we want yellow. So we want Umaga. That'll help here and there. So that's good. We don't need the generator. So we'll switch this out for zombie edge. Where are you at, big man? Okay, zombie edge there. Maybe we stick with the four? No. <sighs> we really don't. Uh, I guess we can use Logan here. Since it's not, since he's not at plus one. Which is actually making me kind of want to keep Logan Paul here at 40% because of the fact that there's not a plus one. So we're going to do 406,000 damage for three turns. So we're going to do 1.2 mil. And let's just hope this black does something. Because the downside is, is the black ain't going to be very strong. Yeah, black's only 10K. So it's 5K less than the yellow, 3K less than the green. So we'll just see what comes of it. That, that's essentially all of this trial is, is just a testing realm. I'm not blown away in the slightest. I didn't change out my trainers. Frick. No, I did. I just switched out my trainers. What is it? No, I didn't switch out animal. All right, quit. This is the reason why raw videos are here. It's solely because these are mistakes. Uh, I made a mistake. Got to pay for it. It's a good thing I'm loading up on HP like crazy. 116,000, the highest, one of the highest numbers I've ever had. I had it up to 130 at one point. Oh God, Christ on a, on a, on a, on a silver spoon. Quit, quit. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. One of these days, I am not going to make a mistake. Oh, I've already did that. The Cody video. I didn't make a single mistake in that Cody video aside from how to play him. And that's open for interpretation at this point. Manage. Switch out animal. We were so focused on all the damage, forgot about the move charge. All right. There we go. Throw on Xavier. So I personally won't be going for Waller. Um, if I get him from a bag, I get him from a bag. Fantastic. If I don't, it, it's it's like I'm not I'm not gonna be hurt by that. I'm not gonna be hurt not having him. This is, I know it says A tier on there, but that's just purely for difficulty of getting the card. Maybe this will play dividends. I mean, it's going to be long. It's going to be grindy. Let's just see how much damage we're accruing here. 1.4. Again, not super excited about this, but this could also be the Ron, uh, Baddest Jacket could go on this and do relatively well because you're in constant recycle mode. You're increasing 100% um, against a bar in a boss battle. This could be very beneficial, I guess, for black. Just from the fact that if you throw the bat the baddest jacket on here, you're going to be. I did that just for craps and giggles. Um, if you throw the baddest jacket on here for a boss battle, you're going to be stacking. So that's nice. Um, if there's a multiply and black gem increase for a boss i think that's where he's probably going to shine the most i mean we're melting we're we're melting brawn without really taking that much damage because of the constant repeat on the fin or submission but i mean really we want more out of this again fury 2 will play dividends the belt being on him will matter um the medals will matter if I was in a better position belt wise on my main roster, I would have spent the parts to put the Rainmaker on him just to see what the power level is going to be at. But I'm not at that level for parts right now. So, yep, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so how do we want to rock this one? I think maybe we try here. Here. It's increasing the strength of the multiply gem, so that really doesn't play a part. I guess what we could do is we could do the seated, do that there, do this here. It really doesn't change very much on our build. 
because black gems are still a part of that. Green gems are a part of that. So I'm wondering maybe if we go with, you know what, let's go to four and see what happens here because I'm not 100% on what that finisher is actually gonna do. So let's go to half mil. So we're gonna be doing two mil here. Let's give this a shot against LA Knight, see what comes of it. Because this is the last build I'm seeing that I actually see being beneficial. I mean, he could go triple yellow. Triple yellow does make sense. But there is no recharge, which is the problem. I do like the fact that the finisher is double. It allows for you to run the finisher on two different builds. If you want to go with the green instead of the black, you're welcome to do that. I mean... It does offer up something. So let's see here. So we want to do three by seven area into black. So we'll go there. That goes boom. And then we do a three by seven area into green. So that goes there and that goes boom. That's pretty neat, actually. You know, it, I wish it did a little bit more damage, but that's pretty neat. The way that that's designed is pretty cool. Again, really wish there was more damage to this. Um, I feel like that's where he's lacking, especially with the fact that the last two or three showboats that came out had far more damage on their moves. I, I, just, I just feel like it's lacking. That's really what it comes down to. Every single one of these, even though this is a cool, excuse me, cool concept, I just don't see it being beneficial. From the simple fact of we've been hitting the finisher, we've hit the finisher twice already, and he's not even at half health. We've been chopping away at the submission, and he's still not even at half health. We're doing million or two million with the finish or with the submission, and this finisher is just not doing it. So I don't know. I, I this is leaving me wanting. It's leaving me wanting for something, and I could not tell you what that something is right now. More damage is definitely one of those things. Again, another case where maybe the belt does play a role here, but we're still going to get hit. I mean, we tried. We did everything we could. We just failed. Well, at least his explosion of flavor wasn't a huge explosion of flavor gonna hit here first just in case i mean this is where this kind of plays out his pyro gems are going to cause an issue which is a thing it's fine it happens so since the pyro gems did that we'll just go back into it for another submission like i feel like that's probably the strongest build right now is double black and submission i feel like that's the strongest one because it offers up enough multiply gems it gives you the pin bar can't be moved so i mean one of the things that could possibly work on him in those regards is um oh what's the plate dead man sigil could work well there i mean you're throwing out x breaks so it's possible could be a thing. I still think the Baddest Jacket's probably your best course of action with this. Baddest Jacket, Full Fury 2, Hope and a Prayer. Well, just like with the regular WWE roster, Grayson Waller has left me wanting once again. His face makes me upset, and his kit makes me want more like for a card being released at the tail end of 2023 with the fact that we have showboat taker carmelo hayes sheamus uso i mean the list of showboats goes on and on and on where i'm just the a tier is not good enough it's a b tier quality there are b tier cards at five star bronze that are hitting gem damage wise just as hard as his submission does this should be more so my thoughts on all of this is maybe grayson will be good if you have full fury 2 you have gem percentage increase on his belt the baddest jacket on his 
as his plate, possibly a generator on the ultimate plate for breaking uh, black. I mean, yeah, I just I just don't see anything of real value here. Um, yeah, really, ultimately, what it comes down to is this this right here. I believe is going to be the strongest. So if I was to run Grayson, if I was to pull Grayson and I was to run this, essentially it would, the trainers would look basically like this. This is what I would do for trainers, if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, yeah, aside from that, I, r I really wish I had better, a better perspective on it. Um, I'm hoping maybe they, maybe before his release, um, which is tomorrow, I think. What's today? Is today Thursday or Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, so in two days is his release. Maybe in the next 48 hours, they'll change up some of the numbers, scale him a little bit better, um, make, him, make him to where people actually want him, because right now these numbers are Bush League. These numbers are Bush League compared to all the other releases for this year. So... That's my analysis of Grayson Waller. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to leave you the same way I always leave you. Life can be fun if you allow it to be. See you in the next video.